astrophysicists say we originate in the forges of stars. Could those same stars influence the course of your destiny? What if the secrets of life were reflected in the movements of the very solar system we inhabit? What if sunrise and sunset held intricate meanings? What if the strange, tarnished language of astrology was true? What if the path of happiness was written in the heavens on the day of your birth? The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. It's coming back, but it's never been gone. They say it's coming back, but it's never been gone. It's the return of the Medi. 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 The astrology doesn't tell us where we're going, but it tells us the, the consequences of the choices that we make as we hit these intersections that we may or may not know about, but of course, knowing about something is always better than not knowing about it. I think psychology without astrology lacks soul. I felt like I had stumbled through the most amazing door and discovered one of the keys to the universe. but within my chart are a great range of possibilities. And I will, with my choices, with my consciousness, pop the quantum wave and, and bring one concrete reality to manifestation. I'd have to say the very first feeling that I had during my first chart reading was I was completely blown away. And um, I remember feeling um, a, a vibrating and, and a warmth and a fire sort of felt like it got lit. When I studied astrology and realized what had happened in my life in the uh, five or ten years prior, uh, I realized that there was an explanation and there could have been an answer if uh, I'd been using astrology. Some of the most intelligent minds and courageous leaders in history utilized astrology, including the Magi, the first astrologers who discovered the Christ by following heavenly signs. Now, at the end of the age of Pisces, astrology is experiencing a renaissance. We've brought over 30 brilliant astrologers of the modern world together to reveal the ancient wisdom of the Magi. 50 million people read sun sign columns, mistaking them for authentic astrology. But astrology offers much more. There's no substitute for having a chart interpretation with a real professional astrologer. You'll forget everything you thought you knew about astrology and remember the timeless truths those in power don't want you to discover. People can tell that there's energy working in their lives and um, to really put some archetypal sort of, I don't want to say labels, but some orientation, some context, um, they already pretty much already know what's going on. They just need to hear it in words and, and to, to have somebody help them hold it and normalize it for them um, is huge. You know, then, then it's almost like you can move past it. Oh, I know I'm having the Saturn Mars square. Okay, you know, how is that going to come up in my life? An astrologer can really help you understand all the ways that those archetypes can emerge in your life and, and ways that you can honor or give those energies outlets. It's that it teaches me that the universe is not wired the way we were taught it was wired in school. The universe is infinitely weirder <laughs> than they would have us believe. To the total skeptic raised within the realms of the confines of Western thinking, Western science, or Western religion, I would simply say that ignorance is not bliss. Return of the Magi takes you on a journey through the world of astrology, exploring its history, traditions, metaphysics, and art. What I have to say to the skeptics is that it is not wise to take a position on something you haven't personally experienced. And that historically speaking, I would say to the historian, uh, astrology was not disproven Rather, it was rejected because of its association with radical political views and religious views. This is well documented. 
And if the historian doesn't believe it, the historian is undereducated. Science and religion, the gatekeepers of civilization, have a vested interest in keeping everyone in the dark. Driven out by the church as heresy, dismissed by the Enlightenment as pseudoscience, banned from universities as superstition, outlawed by governments, forgotten to the Western world. But astrology is rising again as a language of character and destiny. It's more like the general field of aliveness that permeates everything. Not only permeates, but creates. For those people who have studied these cycles through history and then come upon this one time when all three of the planets came into a triple conjunction and see how absolutely unprecedented and, 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 and unique uh, the, a period of historical transformation that took place at that time, it, just seeing that has a kind of numinosity that many people uh, get kind of shivers from. I used to love to hear that story every year around Christmas time about those three wise men who came to greet the child divine. I always wondered how they found their way across that desert sand with nothing but the stars above to tell them where to land. Sometimes relationships end in crisis. Yeah, we're going to talk, talk about, about it, huh? it, huh? You broke my heart. And most of the time we are confused about the purpose of our lives. Well, we're hitting each other yeah, now. You yeah, want to you you get in the ring? You want to get in the ring? Christina is no different. What she doesn't realize is that the key to navigating the chaos has always been orbiting right over her head. Watch Christina encounter the guidance of astrology as she rises from the ashes of depression to stake her claim to a new life of joy. final cause was thrown out because it implies uh, intention, will, consciousness, and life, and that, that was thrown out of the universe uh, in er by early modern science. I'm uh, an adherent of uh, what some people would call the perennial philosophy, which is the core truths that reside at the heart of all the world's great religious and spiritual and metaphysical traditions. People can't be forced awake. Everyone needs to awaken at their own time. And you can't make someone see what they don't see. Life events sometimes wake people up. And when they do, and they call me as an astrologer, I'm there to catalyze and to, and to accentuate and to blow their mind even further open. You know, you could get through to them once you knew their chart. You couldn't even approach to understand them without knowing their chart. And uh, I thought it was such a tragedy that I couldn't use this knowledge openly in the classroom and in my counseling work with the kids. About the first time I had my chart done was, it was as if I was being seen and understood for the first time in my life. The physical world is uh, divinity in the process of self-actualization. I think the thing that fascinates me about astrology more than anything else is that the implications are so vast and rich and the metaphors are unending coming back but it's never been gone the say it's coming back but it's never been gone it's a new moon rising in an aquarian dawn well, it's coming back but it's never been gone never been gone Never been gone.